Hey, good morning. It is Friday and it's time to press through. We're going to have a good weekend this weekend. We're ending this week on a high note. And even if you don't think you ended this week on a high note, if you woke up this morning, that's a high note because some people didn't make it today. Amen. So we got to give God some praise and glory for waking us up this morning. Let's just start from there. If you could just start from there, God will do the rest, right? So listen, I just want to encourage you on today about David, okay? David, David, David. He was an instrument of God. Y'all remember that story of David and Goliath? Some of y'all know it and some of y'all might not. But you know, in 1 Samuel chapter 17, it talked about how Goliath, this big giant, this enemy, right? The Philistines, the enemy of Israel, were was intimidating Saul and his army for like 40 days and 40 nights big scary dude, right? He's a champion of the Philistines. He was a big bully, but he defied that army and he also defied their God. And it caused them to be fearful and scared. But let me tell you something. God is bigger than our enemy. God is bigger than our fear. And greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. And sometimes God will set us up in the right place at the right time. That in the midst of adversity, right? Yeah, in the midst of adversity, when we are weak, his glory, his power, it's made stronger. His grace becomes sufficient and his power is made perfect in our weakness. So guess what? David was an instrument to come in there to show the glory of God by going against Goliath. Yeah, he was confident. He was brave. He believed in his God, the one and only true God. And because of that, there was victory. So I want to encourage you on today that there is purpose for adversity and there's purpose for victory. And it's not just for us to accumulate things because yes, David won the battle, but yet did he or did God win it? Because before David came up on the stand, the enemy was already defeated. So look at your situation as knowing that there is nothing too hard for God and God is bigger than your situation. Don't give up. Press through. Believe and have faith in God. You are being prepared for purpose. So don't be distracted by the adversity that you're going through. God bless you. Have a wonderful weekend.